hello guys and welcome back in this video we'll be creating this simple pygame window and we'll be adding this color to this window so let us first uh, create a new file new text file we'll change the extension as py 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 is assigned for python so uh, let's just hop to a atom editor and start coding first of all we have to import python then we have to initiate the window igame dot init then we have to specify what will be the width and the height of the window width is equal to let's say 800 display is equal to 600 now we have to pass these two variables uh, which is done by this method by assigning it to again into a variable by game dot display dot set mode and we'll simply pass these two values here just copy and paste place a comma copy and paste so we have created this window we have specified that it should be 800 to 600 uh, which means that 800 width and 600 height okay so now we can see the name here how can we do this so let me show you how can we do this it is done by pygame dot display dot set caption then we'll just give the name this car game okay so here we have clock clock is responsible for all the periodicity and the interval as you'll code you'll be able to understand all these so uh, please do not worry you'll be able to understand them so we have specified the clock we have given the height and width we have initiated that now we'll start with the game loop def game loop basically all the function are called from this function only or all the work for for this game is done in this loop only oh, sorry function only so uh, let's start coding inside this function so pump is equal to false okay while not pumped I'll just quickly write down the codes then I'll 
explain you what this means for event in pygame dot event dot get if So here we can see that pumped is false. So while not false, which is true, then this while loop will run. And if we press or the event is quit, which is this red color cross button, if this is pressed, then pumped will be true or the event will be quit so this loop will not run so let me show if this loop will not run then what will happen or what will happen after this so uh, game displays dot fill and we'll fill a color out here so let me say gray but what's gray python or pi game will not understand gray or red or blue or green what they understand is rgb code so this is rgb you can just go to google and type color picker and you will have this uh, fancy looking color picker so uh, RGB is red, green, blue. So this is for red, this is for green, this is for blue. So let me give the RGB code of gray total. So the RGB code of gray is one one nine. Comma one one eight, comma one one zero. You can select any color. Now, now what we'll do is we'll update this. We'll update this color which we have provided this window basically okay so pi game dot display sorry I haven't update update pi game dot display dot update and clock will take for 60 that should be adequate I guess so we'll run the game loop after the game loop pi game will quit and this is equal to so let's just save our code and see if this works or not I'll just close it down from this also go here and here open my powershell here so python one dot pi so it's working quite so so here we have we have the window with 
800 by 600 we have this name and we have this gray color okay thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture